Hi guys, Alicia here from So What Alicia. I'm excited to be here sharing a fun tutorial for foiling your lettering. All right, so let's get started. Here are the supplies that we're going to use. Um, we're gonna start with some foils. The first kind is um, are these fancy foils from Gina K for Thermaweb. And then we will also use our adhesive deco foil pen. And the last type of foil, we've got the watercolor line of the deco foil. We're gonna print out the I Need Vitamin C printable onto heavy cardstock, and I've also got a light pad. This is my Cricut Bright Pad. So we're gonna start with the adhesive pen, and you wanna make sure that you really get it primed and ready. Um, and go ahead and trace over all of your letters. And like I said, make sure that your pen is really um, has the has the glue adhesive thro flowing through it. I like to use the bright pad because it helps me see where I've done the adhesive because the adhesive can be hard to see. Um, so on the bright pad, I can kind of see where where I've done where I've already gone over. Now, I also wanted to show you how to do another technique. Um, for this, you'll need a paintbrush and the deco foil liquid adhesive. Just open up the cap and use the adhesive kind of as a paint to paint where you want to have the foil. The, the two different kinds of adhesives, you're really gonna see a difference. Um, the first, the pen, will let the foil be a little more aged and antique looking and the glue adhesive that we're painting on now will make it stick a lot stronger and the foil will be a lot brighter. Now let your adhesive dry. Once it's dry, go ahead and hook up your laminator and turn it on so it can get really hot. I like to let mine get hot for about 20 minutes. We're gonna start adding some foil. So pull out the foil and for the small images, you're gonna to wanna to really trim up your foil so that it fits be careful not to accidentally pull it off because it will it will come off and leave it just a little bit, leave a little bit of foil and not give you the, the look you're looking for. So I'm trimming up the pieces of foil to fit to the small images. You wanna make sure you don't go over the lettering because you won't be able to go back and do this again. It won't come off, it won't be able to go back in the laminator. If you put heat on the foil once you've removed the protection protective um, layer, it'll it'll just it, it almost burns it and makes it look really bad. So go ahead and put all of the little pieces you can that you want to use. Now I'm going to use the purple watercolor. Um, I'm going to put all the supplies in the tutorial so that you'll be able to find exactly what colors I'm using. Cut, I'm, I'm cutting these into small squares to cover up the hearts that are on the, that are on the printable. Um, and then once I've covered up the hearts, the last part is going to be to just use one big piece to cover up the wording. Next we're going to put two pieces of cardstock on the front and the back, well one on either side and we're gonna shoot it through the laminator. Now you're really gonna see, once it laminates, the difference in the adhesive. I like this laminator because you can put it in sideways so it takes less time. The last step is to take off all the foil. So um, I like to just kind of rub it on a little tiny bit with my um, some of my Cricut tools. And then once you've kind of rubbed it on, you can kind of start to see that the words are already coming through. So you'll rub it on and then just rip it off. Now you can see the I need vitamin C is where we use the adhesive pen and the outer images are where we used the actual glue. So you can kind of see there's a little bit of a difference. I really love the both looks. I like that I need vitamin C looks a little bit aged like it's been you know sand beaten at the sea. The last step, if you want, is to add some marker and go ahead and color in anything that you want to finish coloring. And then we will get it prepped and ready to hang. Go 
Go ahead and grab your frame. We're gonna put it in and put on the back. And that's it for this project. Thank you guys so much for following along with this tutorial with me. You can find me on all social media as So Alicia, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook, and also on SoWhatAlicia.com. See you soon!